had wanted to um, get into assisted living for quite some time. The more we learned about Beehive Homes, the more we uh, realized that this would be a really, really good fit for what we wanted to do. Hi, I'm Stephanie Lohman. And I'm Taryn Lohman. We're the owners of the Beehive Homes of Conrad, Shoto, and Cutbank, Montana. The one thing we noticed coming from healthcare backgrounds is the distinct feel that you feel when you come into the Beehive Homes. It feels more like your home, and that's what we really liked. Well, we're excited to be able to buy these three homes, and, and we're going to do some pretty major renovations to all three of them. A lot of interior stuff with carpeting, uh, countertops, painting, and uh, also we'll do some landscaping and some siding. Well, we felt that they were nice homes when we came in here, but we felt like we could improve them and the quality um, of life that our residents have here, um, updating just some simple things and and some of the um, things we felt really affected them most. So one of the things is the shower area um, in the bathroom and just making them more accessible and having that almost kind of spa-like feel for them while they're there. I'm Danny Watson and I'm the house manager of Shoto Beehive. Yeah, I love my job. It's great, it's really rewarding helping folks and getting to know them. I really enjoy getting to know my residents. They're really special people and I enjoy them a lot. I'm April Haugen, I'm the lead at Shoto Beehive. I do feel like um, we are making a difference in their life because if it wasn't for us then they you know they would have to be in a nursing home and they wouldn't be able to be in this setting. Um, our setting here is just like being at home. They have their rooms but yet they have their you know the dining room and the front room. They have just like being in their own home just with us somebody here 24-7 to help them. So at the Beehive Homes of Shoto, um, you're going to find it nestled in right on the edge of the, the Rocky Mountain front. It's located at the end of a street um, with an open field out that faces out the front of it. Um, so it's really uh, quite unique even to the even to the town of Shoto because it's it's very quiet. That is important to a lot of folks if they've grown up and lived here their whole lives to stay where they know and love. And then the nice thing about that is a lot of them end up knowing each other and are already friends. So then our Beehive Homes of uh, Conrad is also in a small rural town setting and has a lot of the same, physically has a lot of the same features as our as the Beehive Homes in Shoto. Um, it is the uh, same style of home and uh, located in a, kind of on the edge of town, uh, of a small town and, and uh, with an open view to fields and, and uh, beautiful sunsets. One of, the, one of the things that we notice is the a lot of our residents there are from that local area as well, that, that community of uh, farmers and, and agriculture. So our Cut Bank home is conveniently located in the heart of town. That is our memory home and the care there is all about focusing on um, dementia and Alzheimer care. So the caregivers there are specially trained in the needs of those residents. The facility is a secured facility, so it has keypads for entry. An area of nursing that I always loved was being able to um, be compassionate and help people that need help. And we certainly get to meet those folks and, and see a difference in their lives and their families and just the relief um, on their families' faces and um, create that home-like atmosphere that we were talking about. It's. Um... You know, it's, it's probably one of the most rewarding um, jobs um, or, or a career even that somebody could possibly imagine is to be able to be a part of their lives and, you know, hopefully um, provide something to them at a time in their life that's uh, meaningful and valuable. It sure is for us.